In this video lesson, we are going to demonstrate palpation of the diaphragm on the right side of the body. We have our client, Justin, lying supine. Now, the diaphragm essentially attaches circumferentially 360 degrees around the internal surface of the rib cage, and from there, its fibers run toward the midline of the body up superiorly onto a central dome. To be able to access it, we really cannot get to it posteriorly. It's very challenging to get to it laterally. Where we can best access it is anteriorly, and really best is anterolaterally. Now, to do that, we're going to have to go through the anterior abdominal wall musculature. So to slacken that anterior abdominal wall as much as we can, we place a very large bolster underneath the client's knees. That drops his pelvis into posterior tilt, and given that all musculature in the anterior abdominal wall that has any vertical direction to its fibers at all are posterior tilters, then those muscles will be shortened and slackened and easier to access through. So the next thing is we're going to need to curl our fingers around the lower margin here of the costal cartilages. And we need to have very, very smooth and short fingernails so it's not uncomfortable for the client. I almost always, as a guideline, recommend we palpate on the client's skin and not through draping, clothing, etc., cloth of any type. But when we have to lead with fingertips, like with this palpation, I very often recommend to have a very, very thin piece of cotton, flannel, something like that to blunt our fingernails, but very thin so we can still palpate through. I'm not going to do that in this uh, video demonstration because it would block the camera view of what we're working on here. So what I'm going to do is find the margin of the costal cartilages and I'm going to wrap and curl my fingers around to the inferior and then coming onto the internal surface as best as I can. But I'm going to want the client to be very relaxed. So Justin, will you take a breath in and just comfortably, gently, slowly breathe out. And I can just curl my fingers around and I'm going through the external, internal, abdominal, obliques, transversus abdominis, and back onto the internal surface of the rib cage to be on the diaphragm. Now, normally we think of a breath out as being relaxing for the person, but I want to emphasize that we don't want a forceful exhalation. If the client breathes out forcefully, there's a very good chance he will engage his anterior abdominal wall musculature to push up on the uh, diaphragm, to push up through the thoracic cavity, to expel air from the lungs. And that's why we want it to be a relaxed breath in and a very slow, comfortable, gentle, relaxed breath out. Let's show that one more time. Take a breath in, nice and gentle, and nice and gently breathe out. And we just wrap around and reach in as best we can to the internal surface of the ribcage. And that is our palpation protocol for the diaphragm.